Oh, can I read you something? Yeah. So, I think all creatives have um, like a different perspective on life. And Beatrix Potter, I love her perspective. But here, she's age 15. Um, it says, this portrait of the teenage Potter was taken on the family's last summer in Dalgiz. Don't know if I'm saying that right. They had a vacation home there. But anyways, in the following year, 1882, the house was no longer available to rent. She felt acutely the bitter loss of both a dearly loved home as well as the golden time of her childhood. Around two years later, she worried that a visit to the house while again in the Dunkeld area would sully the memories of her childhood. It was not perfectly happy. Childhood, childhood sorrows are sharp while they last, but they are like April showers serving to freshen the fields and make the sunshine brighter than before. She wrote that? She wrote that. Oh. And she must have been 17 at that time. But just, like, think about that. Okay. She basically said, like, yeah, my childhood was a little tortured, but it was like an April shower, and the rest of my life, um, it made the sunshine brighter than before. So she, so the picture that you're looking at, she drew when she was 15, but the passage when she was 17. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. This is actually just, like, a picture of her with her dog in the corner there. It's just really cool to get like another creative perspective of life. That's what I like. Seeing. It's really cool. So yesterday we went over to Tractor Supply Company, picked up a box rail, basic box rail. They have two there in three different sizes. They have a, a more round one, um, and then they have eight, 10, and 12 feet. Um, these are more of your outdoor barn uh, rail uh, tracks. These are the ones that we, you know, we use on our on our farm if we're going to replace a rail. Uh, a lot more sturdy, obviously. The ones that you can get at Home Depot, most of those are internal only, more of a decorative style. Um, and the reason I, I, I went with this, and I'll show you here in a second, is where we're going to mount it, I, I need this to be as high up as possible. The other ones, the way that they, uh, the, the, the door attaches and, and tracks on it are on the top. So it leaves a, a little bit of a, a clearance that you have to leave for the, the wheels to pass through. This one, there's an internal channel, so the, the wheels attach on the inside. Um, so I can get this as high as possible, and the door um, is going to be is going to slide from under here so that's why i went with this uh but before we can do it in order to make it fit in the space we're going to have to spray paint it i got also from tractor supply just some basic tractor truck implement spray it's a matte black we're not doing anything crazy uh with it um i think this will work if not um, i might have to head to home depot anyway so we'll uh we'll get a different paint but um what i like to do i'm missing two brackets I have everything I've hung. I've hung these doors before, um, or this system before, so I know what's going to be exposed and what's not. So there's a handful of bolts and screws um, that are hidden that are not out here. <clears throat> and the reason being is because I know they're not going to be exposed, so I'm probably not going to spray them. Um, but here's a kind of a neat idea: uh, if you have to spray paint any head uh, bolts, uh, the tops of them or the heads of them, uh, to poke, poke them through some cardboard. This one's a little bit more neat. Uh, poke them through some cardboard so you can hit them straight across. Um, and really that's it. So here's the spray painting Sunday morning. All right, first coat's down. I'm not gonna go in there. It's a little misty. I don't wanna get on the lens of the camera. But uh, really easy. The paint's looking like it'll stick pretty well. I haven't used that stuff. It's truck and equipment paint. Usually I buy uh, like Rust-Oleum or whatnot. So um, <laughs> we're gonna hit that a couple more times, let it sit, and then uh, we'll probably throw a spray of poly over it just to give it a nice little gloss. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go and hang it. I'll show you why I, I chose that again. I did put the brackets on the rail um, in place. I measured out where I, want it, where I want them to be in the house. So I measured where they're gonna be. I sprayed them in place, and what I'll end up doing is probably move them over a little bit to the left and right and spray behind them so there's not just this, this gap of, 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 uh, of raw metal, like the original color. And the reason why I did that now before 
uh, instead of spraying them and then sliding them out, I didn't want it to scratch up the rail as we slid all the way down. So here, at least the scratch, uh, if it does scratch, there's only going to be a couple inches to the left and the right where the bracket's going to be. Uh, a couple sprays of that, and I think that'll go away. So uh, more to come. We have to run to Home Depot because where we're going to mount this needs a couple shims, if you will, of boards where it's going to mount to the floor, uh, where it's going to mount to the wall. So heading there, have to get a couple other things. So let's do it. All right, so we're back from Home Depot. I gotta go back i actually forgot a couple things do it every time anyway so all right my idea on this is um i have a two by six right here and then i also have a one by six poplar board um, i'm gonna anchor the two by six down throw this one on top of it bolt them together and that's gonna give me just over uh two and an eight two and a quarter all right so right here is where we're gonna hang it so the reason why the reason why, let me back out here. The reason why we need to keep it below or have that inner channel rail so it can't ride along the top of the railing is because of these. So um, I spaced these individual gaps out. We're going to throw a gap board in here. So these boards that we're going to cut are going to come here so we have a nice flush wall that we can mount the rail system to. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Lazy bum. Look at that belly. <laughs> You're a big cat, dude. a little bit that's gonna need a little touch up a little uh, file to hit that curve or to curve curve those over so they're not too rough uh, but other than that that thing's a monster cool and there you have it all we gotta do now is paint right there all those boards um, so they kind of blend in um, that one what I end up doing for that one uh, right there that third one over since that wire dipped in. I could have probably cut out um, and moved the wire up, but I didn't at risk of not trying to nick the wire. Um, I think once we paint it, you're not even gonna realize that there's it doesn't carry over. I'm not terribly disappointed with it. I don't think it's uh, you know I don't I don't think it's a shortcut by any means. So um, the paint turned out great. Uh, I did not seal it. I did not uh, do anything coating wise. I really wanted to keep that matte look on it. And uh, it, it's up there. I don't think it's not, it shouldn't get dinged up too bad. Um, and where I think that it needs that protective layer. The stuff is outdoor tractor stuff. So I think, I think it'll, it'll hold up, but it, it turned out really good for a spray paint. So there you have it.